probably actually probably two years ago we first started looking into it and thinking right how could we do this how could we make it work I got like a like a startup loan to, to get some kit together and start brewing on a bit of a bigger scale which is where my trial kit came from um, and then it was just finding the right premises from there we had to convert three garages into a brewery and, and this room which is going to hopefully be a tasting room um, come next week I think with a um, a startup business like this, the brewing scene, it's really, really popular at the minute. We only launched in May, we've only been going a few months, um, so we're hoping it's not going to fail. <laughs> this is the actual brewery. We'll make the beer in the three wooden vessels, two big elements in each one. So we'll heat the water overnight in the first tank, we'll transfer next thing in the morning once it's up to temperature, and mashing all the grain and what we'll do is we'll extract all the sugars out of the grains from that uh, which will create like a really kind of sweet solution which will eventually become the beer uh, and we boil um, for an hour we'll start adding the hops here or any kind of flavor we want to get into the beer we also have like our brewers table we do all the bottling through here we've got a schedule on the wall this is our malt store, so where we keep all of our grain, um, all the bottles up there, empty bottles, little fermenters. This bit through here basically is a massive fridge, and from start to finish, that is basically the, the kind of the top and bottom of the brewery. Obviously, when, um, when I left the job that I had previous to this and we started this up, I um, did sort of think that money would, would be coming in a bit quicker with cash flow. And I'm coming in and obviously we're, me and my wife had our first kid in uh, December last year. Um, so it's been, a, it's been a proper struggle but um, it's all kind of starting to pay off now. It's good knowing that you're doing it for yourself and, and like it, it could be a success in the future. So this is our craft beer engine. Um, basically um, an old fire engine that we picked up from Wales and drove back up. Um, we managed to get it on eBay for a fairly decent price and then we decided wouldn't it be cool to have a mobile bar outside the fire engine. So what we decided to do was we have keg beer only, we've got six beer taps, two in each of the shutters on the other side. But we just want to, like I say, just get good beer out there and, and the fire engine's a pretty good gimmick to get it out there. It's taken quite a while, quite a lot of planning, getting the we're big brew kit together. We've managed to get that second hand from a guy down in Stockport. The guys who manufacture the brew kit, um, they didn't really want to know. Uh, they didn't want to give us any help or anything like that. So we had to um, get the get the kit in and then learn how to install an entire brewery. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we're like, all right, massive brewery here. Uh, how does this fit together? Keen to get into the uh, like the pub side of things, so um, the brewery's great. We we uh, quite like it the size that it is at the minute. Um, we don't want to go too much bigger on the brewery side of things, but we'd maybe like to get into um, kind of owning uh, like a, some micro pubs or something like that, where we can we can take our own beer and sell it again, like you know from our own outlet. Um, but the brewery size of things, we're, we're all right as it is at the minute, like, but uh, who knows, 10 years time, God, I've got a clue. <laughs> there still could come a time, but, but you've got to have confidence in yourself, you've got to have confidence in your product, so we are just trying to push forward, get into as many pubs as possible. Word's getting around now. We're getting down the country once a month. We'll go down to York, Leeds. Um, we're happy to go as far as Sheffield. We've got beer down in London. Someone rang last week from Staffordshire who somehow had some of our beer. So we're getting out all over the place. It's just uh, now you've, you've got to have confidence. Uh, so 